But guys so welcome back to another video now in this video you guys will be learning on how to find the surface area of this composite shape all right so step number one guys what i'm going to do is we are going to find the surface area of the triangular prism and the rectangular prism all right so let me go ahead and name this shape shape number one and i'm going to name this shape number two all right guys so let's go ahead and uh, write down the formula first all right write down the formula so the surface area of this composite shape will be the area of shape number one plus the area of shape number two minus with two times the overlap minus with two times the overlap and the overlap guys will be right here okay will be right here so this one right here all right will be our overlap which we'll get into it a bit later all right so first let's go ahead and find the of shape number one all right guys so shape number one so it's a rectangular prism so the formula of surface area is 2 l w plus l h plus w h all right guys now this is our length our width and our height all right the length and width you can swap it if you want the answer will still be the same so let's substitute our values guys so we have two multiplied with our length and width so 19 times 9 plus length times height which is 19 times 11 plus our width times height which is 9 times 11 all right guys so now what do we have 19 times 9 is going to give us let me use the help of a calculator 19 times 9 is going to give us 171 plus 19 times 11 will give us 209 plus 9 times 11 is 99 right guys now let's go ahead and add up everything inside the bracket so 209 plus 171 plus 99 will give us 479 and 2 times 479 will give us 2 times 479 will give us 958 and our unit is feet square all right guys now let me go ahead and highlight it let me go ahead and highlight so here we go so this is our area of shape number one now let's go ahead and find the area of shape number two all right let's go ahead and find the area of shape number two so in shape number two guys so we know that it totally consists of two triangles right so we have two triangles so two triangles plus three rectangles right we have the slope we have two slopes and the base right so two slopes so two rectangle which is the slope plus the base rectangle Right, guys plus the base rectangle so let's go ahead and find the area of two triangles right so two triangles will be two multiplied with how do we find the area of triangle guys so half times base times height right so the base here is 10 multiplied by our height which is 12 right guys so the base right here is 10 and our height is 12 right guys base is 10 and height is 12 all right so here guys this 2 and 2 can simplify and 10 multiplied by 12 will give us 120 feet square right feet square now let's go ahead and find the area of the base rectangle so base rectangle is equal to now if you take a look at the base guys the the length is 10 right and the width will be 9 feet right this width and this width will be the same right guys now length times width so here we have 10 10 multiplied with 9 will give us 90 feet square so this is for the base rectangle and we have what else do we have guys we have two slopes right so this is the first slope right here and it'll be on the other side also right guys the other side so we have two two slope rectangle will be equal to two multiplied by the length and the width right so the length is 13 and the width is 9 right here right guys 13 times 9 so we got 2 times 13 
times 9 because 2 rectangles have the same dimensions right in this figure times 2 will give us 2 multiplied by 117 which is equal to 234 feet squared all right guys all right so let's write it down here so let me highlight it let me highlight it so we got two triangles yes the base rectangle and then we got the two rectangles now if you add it all up guys if we add it all up, so the total for figure number 2 will be all of this added, right? So 120 plus 90 plus 234, right? So 234 plus 90 plus 120 will give us 444. It's 444 feet square, right guys? So this is our, the area of figure number 2. Now, finally, guys, we got to find the area of this overlap, right? This overlap because we have calculated it twice, right? We have calculated it when we found the, the rectangular prism and we also calculated it when we found a triangular prism. But we don't need to use them because that surface area is not included. So let's go ahead and find the area of the overlap. Overlap is equal to, in this case, guys, the overlap right here that you see right here is a rectangle right is a rectangle now how do you find the area of rectangle length times width right guys so length times width length times width which is equal to 10 times 9 right we got 10 here and we got 9 here this will be 9 feet right that is 10 times 9 which is equal to 90 feet squared all right guys now we have found everything that we know to find the surface area now let's substitute the values so what do we have here guys so we have our figure number one we have 958 plus figure number two we got 444 minus with two times overlap right two times overlap it is two times 90 so we got 958 plus 444 minus 180 right guys now let me use the help of a calculator so you don't waste time and then minus with 180 will give us 1222 feet square and this one will be our final answer guys all right hope it helped you guys and uh, see you guys next time bye bye